day. Come again another day. Oh, good day. I've been putting off painting for ages, and when I finally get round to it, look, it's raining. OK, so it's not really raining, it's just a computer effect. But that's because I don't want to paint the fence. Hey, but here's a question. When it really does rain, where does the water go? Where does the water go when it rains? Hmm? It goes down underneath the ground, and um, it makes puddles by ditches. It flows back up to the sky. It gets absorbed by the ground. It dries up from the sun. It soaks into the ground. It goes to the rivers. It sinks under concrete. Mm, some good ideas there. But I suppose when the rain falls down, it could be evaporated away. You know how the sun evaporates away puddles? But surely not all of it. You know, what we need is a close-up look. It's running off the roof and into the guttering and down through that hole, down the spouting, possibly washing out poor Incy Wincy Spider, and down a drain which uh, we can't follow. Hmm. So instead we'll check out what happens to the rain that doesn't fall on the roof but falls on the driveway. Because the driveway slopes down towards the road, the water flows down towards the road, across the footpath and into the gutter where it's joined by more rainwater coming off the road. OK, now we're talking. Now we're going to find just where all this rainwater goes, which is down another drain. Oh, great. And I mean, oh, great. That's what that thing that the water disappears through is, a grate. What's going on here? Oh, it's someone from Auckland City. Oh yes, their business is going down the drain. And looking down the drain, we can see that the rainwater is actually going into a special underground pipe. Thanks, Mr Auckland City. So now we know that rainwater actually goes underground in pipes. Bagpipes? Oh no, no, not those kind of pipes. These kind of pipes. Hmm, but where to next? You know, we could always put a camera down there and have a look. Oh no, no, you're right. We don't want to put anything in there other than water because we don't know where they end up. Thank goodness for stunt water, which I happen to have here in these jugs, marked A, B and C. Now, in these jugs, there is nothing but pure water. But watch how they show up on the Suzy Scope stunt water detector. Check this out, this is rad which shows me that they're exactly, oh, right here, at Stuntwater Headquarters. But not for long, thanks to my lovely assistant. Thank you, to work. Well, let's start with Beaker A's water. Down the drain at the bottom of the drain pipe it goes. Now to Beaker B's water. Great stuff, and I mean great stuff. It's going down the grate. Oh, and I didn't mention it before, but I've always wondered where this sort of uh, water goes to. So let's get tracking. Aha, here's stunt water A, which came down the drain pipe from the roof, and it's being joined underground in a pipe by stunt water B. Now that came down through the gutter. And they're racing this time, and hello, what's this? It's stunt water C, straight from the toilet and flushed with excitement. Sorry. OK, let's see what's happening further down the road. Here's the friendly man from Auckland City. And look what he's uncovering. We're going underground. Down here, the water from lots of other roads and roofs flows into this pipe. And you'll see the stunt water from Beaker A and Beaker B come flowing by. Yeah, I know, it's pretty hard to see without the Suzy Scope stunt water detector, but I'll tell you something else that detector told me. It told me that stunt water C from the... Yeah, that's the one. It's not going down the same pipe as all the rainwater. It's going down a completely different pipe, a pipe called a sewer. It's full of poos and wheeze. <gasps> True. If you don't believe me, we can always lift the lid on it and have a good close look. No? 
okay, well, let's just stick with the rainwater pipe. Oh, by the way, I found out the name for it. It's called a stormwater pipe. And you know, I've been thinking, with the rain coming off all the different roofs and all the different roads, the stormwater pipe underneath the road is going to have to get really, really big to hold all that rain. But just how big? You know, I think we need to investigate. Thank you. How about this big? This is a two metre wide stormwater pipe. And when it's finished and put into place, it will have this much water running through it when it's raining really hard. So before that happens, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to go back to my Susie scope and find out where our stunt water's got to. Hey, check this out. Stunt Water C is now heading in a completely different direction from the rainwater. Remember, Stunt Water C is from the... Yes, that's right. But we're here to investigate rainwater, so we won't follow the... toilet water. OK, let's see. Hey, look. The rainwater's about to reach its final destination. And here it is. It's the sea. And there's that rainwater flowing out the end of all those pipes it's been through and out to join with all the other water in the sea and all the fish and all the other animals that live in the sea and... Hey, wait a minute. You know that dirty water from the... Yeah. Where did that go? Oh, right, the treatment works. Dirty water from the toilet and the kitchen sink and the bath and the washing machine goes to the treatment works where it's treated. That means it's cleaned and made safe. But the water that comes down the stormwater pipes hasn't gone through any treatment plant or cleaning place. What comes out here and goes out into the fish's backyard is just the same as what goes in up the other end. Here. So if we want to look after the fish and all the things living in the sea and swimming in the sea, then the only thing we want to go down here is pure, clean rainwater. So, when I'm next out here cleaning my bike with warm, soapy water, I'm not going to get rid of this water down the stormwater drain. Oh, no. I'm going to tip it out here on the grass. And when I finally get round to painting that fence, oh, thank you, which is probably today, when I'm finished, I'm not going to let all that painty, dirty water that I use to clean the brush drip down the old driveway and out to the stormwater pipes. No way because that water goes out to the fishies. Oh, no. That would not be a good look. Instead, I'll take it inside and clean it in the laundry tub. That way, all that dirty, painty water will go down into the sewer pipe and all the way to the treatment plant to be treated with the dirty water from the... <coughs> you guessed it. So... The water that falls on our houses and our streets drains down drains and through pipes all the way to the sea. Unless your house isn't anywhere near the sea, and then it will probably drain away into a river. But the most important thing is the water that goes through a stormwater pipe doesn't get cleaned or treated. It goes into the fish's backyard as it is. Ugh. So the most important thing is we need to make sure that the only thing that goes down the stormwater pipes is pure, clean rainwater. Hey, have a look around your house and all the different pipes. Some of them will go into the stormwater and some will go into the sewer. Which ones go where? If you'd like information about this program or if you have questions you'd like answered, you can write to us at Susie's World, PO Box 34307, Birkenhead, Auckland, or head to the website www.susie.co.nz. Oh, well, I guess there's nothing for it. I'll just have to paint the fence. But first of all... <coughs> See you next time. Ka kite. Here. So if we want to look after fish swimming in the sea and everything else that lives in the sea... Oh, sorry, it's us that swims in the sea. Oh, the fish do, but we are going to as well. Okay, shush. <laughs> Look at that! Whoa! <laughs> Instead, I'll take it inside and clean it. This program was brought to you by New Zealand On Air.